Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to do a review on the Oakley Flight Deck Gago. This is, I believe, the 2014 version. And I used it uh, new this season. And I want to pretty much finish up the season before I kind of give an overview of what I thought about this Gago. Now, we're not going to dive into tech specs because there are plenty of sites and plenty of reviews out there that talks about like uh, the how much weigh, how big it is, etc, etc. I'll just tell you my perspective coming from the pretty good uh, Smith Phenoms. Um, so I came from this side of Gago to the Oakley Flight Deck. And as you can see, I kind of decked out in my snowboarding gear to kind of give you a proper, uh, proper perspective of how it may look because like the size isn't concerned with like um, snowboarding outfits. So right here, let me take this off first. Ah. Oh, helmet head. All right, so right now I have this um, this goggle on the burn um, helmet. I'm sorry, uh, and as you can see, the goggle fits really well uh, with helmets. And Oakley designed it in mind to work with different helmets. And my friends have tried my uh, goggle too, and it all seems to fit pretty good. So here, let me put a goggle on. So there's pretty much no gap. And this is burn helmets. I think they're just like a standard one, whatever the cheapest one may be. And for the lens, the lens I went with the new line of Oakley lenses, uh, the Prism line. Uh, they have, I believe, the Prism Rose, which is what this is for the low lights, and then they have the Prism Green, and at the top they have the Prism Black. Uh, basically, that covered covered the entire um, spectrum versus like in the standard Oakley. There's like yellow, persimmon, you know, green pink, mirror, black, etc. to cover all the ranges. But these three lenses, the rose, um, the green, and the black covers the entire range. Um, and for me personally, I'm used to snowboarding uh, with no goggle actually. I know it's pretty bad for you. But uh, for some reason my eyes can't, usually can take like extra light. My eyes are not too sensitive to the lights. And I, I don't really wear sunglasses that much, but sometimes I do. Uh, but so getting a goggle is more for like, okay, when there's snow in the air, right? Snow is hitting my eyes. I can't open my eyes. I have to wear something. Um, that's when my old goggle comes to place. But the complaints on my old goggle is that it does not fit my face too well. And I'll try it on so you can see it. And we'll go back to this. We'll get back to uh, the flight deck in a little bit. So this is the Smith. Phenom got excellent review from a lot of people. I believe I got the um, blue and yellow lens on. And let me just put it on for you. Looks pretty good, right? Now the problem is the curvature of the goggle is a little bit too too curved for my face. Uh, and you can see, of course, I got an Asian face. I'm Asian, right? Um, so it kind of pinches in on here if I have it a little bit too tight. Now I don't really have too much of an issue with the gap here. Uh, so. Maybe they have Asian fits out there, but I don't need them uh, because there's no gap. However, it's just not comfortable long term. Whenever I smile or whatever, it, I, I kind of rub my cheek against um, the pad. Eventually, it'll, it'll be a little bit irritating. So uh, start started the season, I set out to look for a gago. And one of my huge requirements for gago is that I want something with excellent peripheral vision. You know, I want to see what's going on. With this goggle, my issue is that uh, besides like a little the curvature, is like when I when I snowboard, sometimes I feel I see tunnel vision. I get tunnel vision. Like I don't know what's going on in the side and it kind of worries me. So I find myself keep like left and right checking, right? But with the Oakley flight deck, um, the vision is excellent. And now let me take it off this helmet. Uh, because for the extra wide vision, the trade-off is that you have a huge goggle that looks a little bit ridiculous um, without a helmet. And I'm not a huge, huge helmet guy, um, but I started getting into a little bit more jumps. I suck at it, but I mean, I, it's fun. So I try to do a little bit more. So that's why I start wearing a helmet and this goggle fits well with the helmet. But without a helmet, you're looking at something like this. Sorry, I'm tighten it a little bit. Okay. Something like this, right? Uh, front view, not too bad, not too bad, right? But when you turn your side, bam! It kind of sticks out a little bit, a little bit, a little bit much. Now, when I go snowboarding, normally I wear a beanie. So let me 
could that be neon too? So you can get a get a sense of how big the helmet is. Uh, sorry, how big the goggle is. Here's the Smith Phenom, which fits well with just the beanies. Yeah. And then here we have the Oakley flight deck. Not too bad, but I mean it's it's a it's definitely a big it's a big goggle. Now, of course, uh, we talk about the con how it looks pretty big, depending on how big your head is, and I think my my face is pretty big, all right, pretty flat too. Um, but the pro is that excellent vision. I can see up to here. Yes, up to here. So it's almost one eighty. I'll say it's about like one. 160, 170. It's wide. It's really wide. Um, I can see. There's no. I cannot. I can hardly see the frame up here. Okay, it's probably up to this point, and below, it's all the way down here, which is excellent. And of course, there's a nose piece a little bit. Now, in terms of vision, um, I love these goggles. It gives me like, I can see everything. You know, I don't feel. I don't feel trapped. Um, the vision is way better than my old goggle. I still feel slightly. Actually, I, I gotta think that. I probably don't. I don't really feel that uh, tunnel vision anymore. I, I mean, there's still times where I want to like check a little bit, but it's not. It doesn't bother me as much anymore. Like I actually feel comfortable wearing goggle now. Before, uh, I do not wear, want to wear the goggle because I feel like I'm giving up something. I'm giving up my vision, right? But with this, I feel like I'm not really making any compromise. If there's any complaint at all, it's a lens. And honestly, it's probably a personal preference. I'm not a big fan of like altered vision in terms of like color. I'm pretty sensitive to different color. I much prefer to see things as they are. Um, now, the lens I have on this side of Gago is the Prism Rose. And what it does is that it's a low light lens, meaning that they'll kind of up the contrast. Um, if there's like, if the air is like cloudy day, uh, there's not much detail in the, uh, in the snow. You cannot really see where the bump is coming into, and it may be dangerous just plowing right in there, right? Uh, so that's where these lenses come in, and it will enhance the contrast. And just from using it for this season, I do think that it works. It does work. Um, however, the trade-off, there's always trade-off, right? The trade-off is that it has, um, everything has an orange cast, a really like orange cast. Uh, I'm slowly getting used to it. It's still not my preference. I feel like uh, if I'm doing anything that I feel I need my full concentration, full focus and stuff like that, sometimes I pull the goggle open and just do it this way. I'm trying to get into the habit of wearing the goggle more, even in those situations, but for now, um, I still feel the most confident with my naked eyes. Um, but this is not bad, this is not bad. If I have to wear a goggle, this is the one I'll wear, for sure. Um, originally, I was going to get the Prism Green, because that is supposed to be the best um, overall lens, but I saw some screenshots of people taking through the green lens, and it actually has really, really strong pink uh, tint, which is kind of odd because the lens is green. But I did not like that at all. Um, versus the Prism Rose, uh, it just have a really light pink tint that is uh, is bearable for me. Uh, for other people, they probably don't even notice. Um, and I feel like for me, since my eyes are not that light sensitive anyways, I prefer the, um, uh, the maximum light emission. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. I just pretty much need this to block the wind and uh, block the snow that's blasting into my eyes. So my uh, experience with this Oakley Flight Deck Gago is extremely positive. When I was shopping around, it was the beginning of the season, so everything was really expensive. I bought this off of Amazon for about 180. Um, I checked now and there's like a whole range of price de de uh, depending on what kind of combo you want. Uh, for example, I see like a matte, matte white frame with uh, Prism Rose lens for 120 with prime shipping, which is which is ridiculous. And I feel like I got, you know, I, well, I shouldn't say I got jipped because like I did buy it at the beginning of the season when it's most in demand. But um, but yeah, I mean, after using the Smith Phenom and then going through a couple other lenses that I tried in the store or bore my friends, I uh, settled on the Oakley Flight Deck, and I could not be happier. Um, I feel like this guy go is pretty much everything I want. It looks slightly big when I'm not wearing anything else and just have to go by itself. But I feel like uh, the trade-off, the trade-off of like the broad vision, I don't feel restricted. It's, it's perfect for me. Uh, one more thing. So I saw that online they have what's known as the Asian fit for the Oakley Flight Deck goggle as well. And what it is is that there's extra padding in the nose. 
and my laptop just went to sleep. Okay, it's back. And when I bought this, I was a little worried. I was like, okay, does that mean there's like a huge gap? And does that mean I have to return this again to Asian Fitch? So I got this, and I'm not sure if you can see it. And it looks kind of weird. <laughs> uh, there's no gap at all. There's zero gap at all, like above my nose. Um, and of course, you're not gonna wear it like this. If you wear it this high up, just tiny little bit, little bit of gap. I can't even stick my finger in there. You'll be a little bit lower, kind of like this. And now it's perfect. It seals completely, and I have no issue of wind coming into my gago at all. So if you're Asian and your nose is not extraordinarily flat, most likely you do not need the Asian Asian fit. A regular um, Oakley flag deck, flag deck should be good enough for you. And right now it's the end of the season. If you think ahead, it may be good to just pick up a, you know, pick up the pair of goggles. And so far, it have been treating me really well. I'm really happy with the purchase. And uh, I was debating. <laughs> now we're getting into personal preference. I was debating between like matte black or white, etc. As a designer, I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. If I get something white, that means like it draws attention to the edges, right? Even more. And this guy goes big enough as it is. So I decided to go kind of stealthy and got black instead. But again, that's, that's a personal preference, completely unrelated. Uh, bottom line is that this guy goes great. Uh, it looks great with a helmet. Uh, without a helmet, it looks a little bit big. But, you know, uh, for me, it's I would rather take a function over form. And it give me great vision, great protection, no wind escape, no need for agent fit or anything like that. Get the standard one for the lens. My eyes are not picky. I just want maximum visibility and then um, um, best, uh, most versatility. So I don't have to keep swapping lenses. So I went with um, Oakley's latest Prism line. I went with the Prism Bros. And your mileage may vary. Uh, you may want to check out the Prism Green as well. And you may want to check out other reviews to, to where people talk about different level of Prism versus like the traditional Oakley lenses and you can make the choice. But as the frame itself, Oakley Flight Deck, two thumbs up. Highly recommend it. So hopefully this helps somebody. If you have any question, go ahead and post in the comments. I'm sure myself or other people who have similar pair of Gaga will chime in. All right, happy snowboarding, guys.